Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help and in this video I'll be covering some dampener tips and tricks. Hello and welcome back. Uh, as you can see in this video, <clears throat> this is a dampener made by Artisania. Artisania is a very exclusive, I think it's an, uh, an Italian company. Uh, they make some very good uh, dampeners. I also have some of these on my uh, audio equipment. Generally, I wouldn't recommend dampeners for for most people because their their hi-fi system isn't you know high end enough. It's it's kind of the the last type of things that that you do. Um, but let's just cover it anyway. Um, yeah, so they make some of the best dampeners in the world and you can put these typically on your transformer on your equipment if it doesn't get too hot or you could also just <clears throat> buy a much cheaper door stopper for probably like a uh, one fiftieth of the price and, and put it the same place but just know that it isn't nearly as precise and, 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 and layered in detail typically so uh, yeah, it, it's one of those fun things to do, especially dampener, uh, dampeners are especially good if you have a, a harsh sound that is uh, lacking a bit of bass and um, maybe the middle range is a bit unpleasant. So, so yeah, again, we've got Artisania here and this is just for you guys that, you know, if you one day have everything in place and you're just lacking that uh, last bit of detail, these pieces of, of furniture that they make are really, really top notch, especially for for people with with uh, wooden floors. Um, and typically, you get something like more detail, more air, more separation, more ho it just becomes more holographic, more three D, and just gives that that firm handshake between the units. So you just go deeper um, into the sound instead of it becoming overly bloated chaotic and all over the place so uh, yeah it's it's kind of for for you guys who have a bit of extra money and who wants to do this one day so i can't afford that but maybe one day i will be able to so but just just remember that even though you have this uh artisania uh furniture or some other similar furniture like that i still recommend that people use wooden boxes between the furniture and the speakers i'm going to show you guys a picture of that soon so ju just so you you guys uh, isolate the, the sound a bit more and it just becomes more natural just like i've, I've written here and uh, this is the one that i have the, the standard dampener so I put this on my amplifier. I could also put this on my streamer or CD player or DAC if I wanted to. Uh, let me just first of all show you that picture that I promised. Uh, maybe I don't have that. Uh, God damn it. Uh, don't think it came through. Okay, but it's a bit similar like, like, like this picture here. You have the speaker and then you have uh, like some boxes going up to probably halfway the speaker and then you have like a half a foot to a foot um, space between the speaker and, and, and the boxes. I, I do recommend trying that because that's going to really change the sound a lot. Um, it's something that I don't really see any uh, regular people doing. So uh, yeah, I, I found this picture on, on the internet and I thought I have a similar glass furniture and I just want to say Glass furniture and hi-fi equipment, god damn it, you know, <laughs> it, it creates a lot of noise and it, and um, <clears throat> that's why I wanted to, to bring it up. Notice the the feet in the in the picture here. Uh, on an active floor, you will you will get annoyed by having feet like this connected to a glass furniture, especially uh, if it's a if, if it's like a, a thin wooden floor and your speakers are relatively close to this piece of furniture. Now I can see that this piece of furniture is a bit more expensive and, and heavy than most glass furniture, but just saying, not only does it create a lot of reflections, it also creates a lot of vibration to your, to your equipment. So especially um, cheaper 
ended gear uh, or really expensive uh, gear can 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 really suffer a lot from this. So uh, just so you guys know. So um, um, yeah, I wrote some stuff for you guys here. And uh, in regards to these uh, dampness, um, I noticed that it just it doesn't quite work the same when I when I put these dampers on um, on my new speaker compared to my old speaker. My old speaker really needed uh, dampers, but on my new speaker, I, I, I don't need it at all. So just to be aware of that. And um, this is a picture that I got from one of my friends. So he has an Acuface CD player. And what he did was he did something very um, ingenious here. He just took a, a cork bottom and put it on the top of his um, uh, his CD player. And then he put a slab of, of marble on top of that. That's one way of creating your own dampener. If you ever want to, to do something similar than that. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun to, to try and do stuff like that. But... Um, if you can't afford this, you can always cut some foam pads out with a scissor and put it underneath the feet of, of, of the, uh, for example, the, the Aquaface uh, CD player. It, it just gives a more warm and pleasant sound. Not not quite the same sound as with this cork um, uh, material. So I just want to show you guys the material that I'm talking about. It's this here. The foam pads. So um, usually you can buy some kind of a yoga mat that you can sit on or sleeping bags or something like that and this is not a, a nice soft uh, material that usually gives a, a warmish type of, of sound uh, that you can just put underneath your your components so um, yeah notice that he also did it with his speaker here and he said he, he got a, a lot better uh, effect doing it with his speaker he said he got a lot more clarity and, and integration and, and coupling um, doing this so this is a cork bottom almost doesn't cost anything to get a hold of that then you get some kind of a box for example and put some sand in that you know it, it it's one of those cheap ways of tweaking your own system so you don't have to buy a product that probably costs a lot more so um, yeah if, if, if you've got money <laughs> then go for this solution you know that that, that is the best uh, coupling and, and dampener that i that i know of and of course these dampeners by artisania you know they they do make quite a bit of difference um but still yeah you also have to take into consideration what what type of gear that you guys have so um this is what i did you know it doesn't look pretty um but it, it does a, a big difference, especially on my rear and my power supply for my streamer and my DAC. And you can see over here in the corner, it's um, it's underneath the uh, the LP player. It also does a huge amount of dist uh, difference. So, um, and something very interesting here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There's something called scotch adhesive pads here also a very good dampener and what i've done is I've, on some of my equipment <clears throat> I've, I've connected it to to the sides here between the chassis and, and the board not touching any of the electronics like here here or near this this here or like directly on, on top of the components just putting it to the side just controlling the vibrations just slightly you know if, if i put more than this on it it usually um numbs the sound a bit you know makes it too warm so th this is a bit you know this is a bit much but later on i also removed i think this part and this part and this top part so i only had the four corners covered but it's just to let you guys know that there is a lot of um space there for you, for you guys to experiment with that so just you know, like get one of those scotch adhesive pads and they, they don't cost much cost a couple of a bucks and uh, just play around with that you know just just roll it around and and it's, it's like it's about it's a bit like hard chewing gum that you can put in all kinds of different places but i like i've written here it's important that that you guys read this part it's just 
that you, you have to do this at your own risk and you have to stay away from uh, parts that conduct electricity. So you don't want to put it on like, for example, here or here or here or here, you know, it's all around the signal, you know, <clears throat> just to minimize vibrations. You don't want to completely kill the vibrations because that also can create a, a bad sound. But just just slightly um, remove those vibrations. It, it can help a lot, really a lot. And um, you can do this in CD players, DAX amps. Um, so yeah, this tweak is a lot like simulating better components. So uh, yeah, why not do it when you can save a hell of a lot of money? And uh, notice what I did here. Can you see this part? This is the inlet plug where I plug my, my power um, cable to. I have inside of it, wrapped it around the inlet plug to make the plug here vibrate less. So that's also a very good, very good tip for you guys. What, another way to, to kind of use it. This is a temporary solution that I did with my DAC and an amplifier where I stacked it on top of each other. I found out later that it wasn't a, a very good thing to do, but uh, it's, it's just, uh, yeah, to show you guys this, this white stuff around the, the inlet plug. That actually helps a lot. And what I did was I also changed the, the inlet plugs to Oyed Inlet R, which are the best inlet plugs in the world and almost don't cost anything. Um, that, that helps a lot, you know. Um, I would also do it on my streamer if it was easier to access. It also has a, a an on and off switch, but maybe one day I'll I'll do that. By the way, if you guys were wondering, this is a, an earth connection from my amp to my isolate mini sub access uh, power box. If you guys were wondering about that, uh, that actually also helps a, a tiny bit removing some some of the noise. Uh, funny enough, but um, yeah. Have you guys noticed that this power cord here from my streamer to my, uh, yeah, it's, it's up where you can't see it here. Um, this power cord wasn't very uh, well isolated. So I just took some, some basic black tape and wrapped it around and it actually changed the sound quite a bit um, for the better. But if I covered the entire cable, it muted the sound too much. But if I didn't cover enough of the cable, it was too thin. So I only covered like three quarters of the cable. So again, another tip. Um, I've also tried with, with this with some of these cables here, these power cables that I have, just wrapping uh, black tape around it or copper tape. It, it somehow enhanced the sound, but it also made it more harsh. So yeah, it, it's just one of those things to, to try. That That's a bit of fun. It helped a lot with my LP player and with my um, isolate uh, power box. You can see here I have a, a door stopper on top of it. Uh, it also helped, it gave that a bit more bouncy, warmish, uh, organic sound. So uh, later on I, I removed it to get a more neutral sound. But but yeah, it, it, it it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you can see here underneath the, uh, the feet on the isolate and underneath the furniture, you know, so this is what I'm talking about. When you have furniture with these feet and they're on top of floor that's pretty active, it just gives a lot of noise. So all of this is like a, it's like a cheap fix. Doesn't look good, but it changes the sound a lot, a hell of a lot. Now, this is pretty special. I don't know if you, if you guys can see this. This is a, a cable that I bought, <coughs> sorry. Summer Cable Elephant. Uh, model which is basically a, a, a speaker cable this has a lot of value so what what I did I can show you something that I've done with a lot of my cables I basically um, slotted this cable here removed the um, the outer part so we don't have the black part anymore so what you have is this product here of four single wires because it's a bi-wire cable so it usually only comes in in a green color, so I'm just about to get in why why it looks like this. Um, <clears throat> so it only costs ten ten dollars per meter, and um, here I'm I'm tweaking the sound to to get a, a lot more for for my money. So what I did was I removed the outer black coating, like I told you guys, and now you can see four 
green threads. And this is me making a, a speaker cable in this picture. But um, <clears throat> I then use a high quality copper tape that is thick from a hardware store. That is the stuff that you see here, the metal copper color. I put that some of the places. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, you can either cover the entire cable or you can you can do, you know, parts of, of the cable. And um, after that, you can just, if you want to, <clears throat> cover it with, with some black tape, some, some good adhesive black tape from your hardware store. And then just, just wrap that around, you know, that, that actually gives a, a, a pretty uh, improved sound compared to the original sound. Or you can use those adhesive pads, scotch adhesive pads on the, the tape first, all over the cable. And uh, then you can put the, the black stuff ar around it in the end, if, if you guys want to. That, that gives you a more organic and natural sound. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically giving you guys this, this extra option of, of dampening um, some, some basic cables that, that you can find. Um, because some summer cable elephant is, is, a, is a cable that they usually would cost two, three, four, five times more. Right? So I basically taken a really good value cable and then I've pimped it up with, with all of these uh, tweaks, uh, a bit like uh, hi-fi uh, manufacturers do with, with their cables. And it actually creates a, a, a very um, much more detailed and evolved type of sound. And um, it boosts the bass in a good way. Um, but yeah, th these are kind of you know lower level tweaks that you would do in lower level to maybe mid mid high uh, systems, I wouldn't really suggest doing stuff like this with, with some some of the really expensive hi-fi systems because because there you actually wanna wanna buy some some cables that are um, you know pretty high standard and um, yeah if, if you wanna buy cables I usually only suggest um, that that you start with something like Cardas or audio quest like you know the the mid to top models and if you want the best then i only suggest you get something like audio note copper or, or silver those are like basically the only cables that i recommend but you know just pick whatever you guys uh, find uh, appropriate and um yeah then i would typically use some cmc gold plugs or v ball uh banana plugs of ebay they give tremendous value and they get so close to to sounding almost as good as Furutek or Oyed. Um <clears throat> so yeah that, that that's one way of sniffing to some really really good sound and you can get CMC gold banana plugs for only like uh 20 bucks yeah i think it's more like 18 bucks including shipping from from China to US or something like that. That's just crazy, you know. I mean, ten banana plugs, high quality banana plugs, for twenty dollars, including postage. You, you don't really get that, you know. But but those are one of the few exceptions. So CMC gold banana plugs or V ball, uh, gold banana plugs or uh, rhodium, uh, banana plugs from V ball. Those are like you know the really good uh, hidden value. Of the market I, I usually don't recommend cheap plugs but if you want cheap plugs and you're building your first cable you know go with this clay uh, cable type try that you know make some power cables make some speaker cables um, use these CMC uh, plugs and uh, maybe V bolt you can switch between them you know and um, then you just get some really good uh, value cable that you can make yourself so you save a hell of a lot of money on buying cables. And then <clears throat> you might be so satisfied with that. So you don't want to use maybe 10 or 20 times more money on, on buying a Cardas or AudioQuest. That, that is a bit better. Um, so yeah, very, very, very good tip. These are, are the, uh, the foam pads that I talked about. And... Um, <clears throat> You can also do this if you have like, for example, an audio note speaker or something similar that, the, like that. 
you can you can use these between the speaker and the stand and i experienced that this gave me a more warm bouncy fun type of sound but you know um <clears throat> How I got this material was in a hardware store. It was a five meter long yoga mat uh, that I bought for ten dollars. You know, so again, you know, buying a five meter long yoga mat uh, in a hi fi store can actually give you a lot of uh, <laughs> um, pleasure from from your hi fi equipment. So that that's also a really good tip, you know, because you can always just cut them out in pieces. And when I had my speaker on this stuff i couldn't see the uh the, the the blue stuff you know so that that was also pretty good but you know later on i i went on to use the blue tack um material so um that that actually came with the audio speaks and and it and it did give a, a more appropriate clean coupled sound that was a bit more um evolved so um yeah also try that blue tack can also uh be be pretty good for for your speaker in in theory so try both you know it, it you might find that one of them works a lot better than the other and uh, they basically don't really cost anything these uh, solutions so yeah it's a, it's a lot of good tips for you guys on on how to improve your your sound and um I remember uh, just a small story here. I remember once owning um, a gigawatt uh, power cleaner, and I thought, "My God, this is just does it have a lot of potential?" But it just somehow it's unnatural and 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 clinical. And what I did was then, my friend told me, "Okay, then try and put these pads underneath," and he was right. It, it it actually it added that tiny bit of extra um warmness and, and organic sound so i actually for a short while considered keeping the box but but later on i i found out that that this box here this much cheaper isolate mini sub access box that that's like the general box you want to go with with most equipment because it's just a lot more compatible it, it makes everything um sing and, and 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 become beautiful pleasant and integrated and a lot of these expensive power bars they have a tendency of dissecting the sound and going off in a particular direction so yeah i, I would have liked to have have kept that box but you know money wise it, it probably would have cost me like three times more and and actually wasn't quite as good as, as this last box that i that i got so um, yeah really some really really good tips for you guys and um, yeah remember all these really good tips they can they can help you with your sound and um, yeah this is me logging out have a nice day bye